Hello engineers, in this session I will demonstrate how you can build a .NET application and also run your unit tests through Azure DevOps in order to automate the procedure of testing. So for this purpose, I have already created a console app application, .NET application, which targets Net Framework 6. Inside this solution, I have already added also a test project which contains some sample unit tests as you would have normally in your own solutions so in this repository as you can see unit tests azure devops on my account you can find the code and download it in order to test it your own so I have also downloaded the project and I have loaded it on Visual Studio so we can see together the code. So the console application is just a single application that contains only one function that adds two numbers, as you can see. And the main, the main functionality of this program is to use this function and return the result so for these purposes i have also created the test projects which you can see here and i have also a class named a namespace called test project one as the project name and also i have the class which named unit test one which contains two test methods the test method one and the second test method the first test method will evaluate the results of this add numbers function and it checks whether the result is the expected. So we expect that this unit test is correct. On the other hand, the second function asserts the result of this function, which should be an integer, with the string 5, which should be false and wrong as behavior on our .NET application. As a result, we expect this unit test, the test method two, to fail. For this example, I have already created our DevOps pipeline. The pipeline is located on Azure Pipelines on YAML on the repository, and you can find the code here. We, can, we will go through the code right now as and then we will check the result of the pipeline. So this pipeline uses the default Ubuntu latest agent pool to build our application. As .NET 6 is multi-platform, we can use also Linux machines. I don't have triggers and PRs for this particular pipeline and I have created two stages. So the important thing here is to create the pipeline based on best practices. So we have two stages on this particular pipeline, the build.NET application and run unit test. I separate those two stages because the build of the application may be successful, but we may have a failure on the unit test. So we can use this pipeline and only rerun the stage and not the whole application. So imagine, for example, that you have a big pipeline with many tasks and jobs inside it. So you don't have to rerun again and again and again all the steps on this pipeline when a single task fails. So keep in mind that using staging is a common practice on complex structures and big projects. So with this functionality in mind, I have created the stage build.net application, which uses two tasks, the .NET task and the .NET core CLI tasks. So the .NET task instructs the agent which .NET version to use. So we use the latest version and the .NET CLI task will build our project using the .NET CLI. And as you can see, I'm targeting the CHProj 
solution inside the solution as, as you can see on GitHub. So in the root directory, I search for the solution and then I compile. Here is the solution file, the chproj, and then I compile and run .NET build for this chproj file. And the configuration which I give as an input is the debug. So the second stage is the unit test stage, which runs the unit test. As you can see, I have used a structure like this as it's a common practice for the test projects to have test in their name. So I'm using a regex expression in order to find everything that is located under a test folder and then I run .NET test for the those chproj files. So as you can see on the solution on the GitHub, we match this particular folder as we search for test. So we can find the test and then I use .NET test the chproj so we run the unit test for this solution. I have already run the, the, the pipeline and you can see the result here. So let's see more details. We first used the .NET 6 for our build and then we build the project. And as you can see, we have correctly built our console app project and created our DLL. So first a restore to happen, .NET restore, then the building as usual, and then we had our result. The test project has been also compiled. So the second stage runs after the successful run of the first stage and we run the unit test. As you can see, we have a failure on test method two because as we saw on the Visual Studio, the, this result was, was not expected as we tried to compare an int value with a string. As you can see from the pipeline, we, we have on the run unit test stage a 50% test path. So Visual Studio GUI is helpful Azure DevOps. It gives us a whole holistic view of which test failed and why they failed. And you can see also with a stage that we used on our Azure DevOps pipeline, we can rerun all the jobs on this particular stage that failed. And as you can see, the unit test would run if I, I, I choose to run all the failed jobs. And the procedure will start again from the beginning. You can also get a more detailed view of the tests by pressing the test run and Azure DevOps will go you through the run explorer, which is under the test plans. And there you will see your unit test result, which passed, which failed, and also more details about the method which failed as you can see by pressing by pressing the button for this particular function you will go and also see the error message the exception that happened thanks for watching this video if you liked it press the button the like button do a subscribe and share this video with your friends